Now that we've covered the basics of OneSearch, we can move on to Advanced OneSearch. This tutorial will show you how to use subject terms effectively, use the Advanced Search feature, and look at resources that are beyond the library's collection but can be ordered via interlibrary loan. Using subject terms. You probably remember from our basics tutorial that we did a search for Homeland Security and Amnesty. We found almost 9,000 results when we did this. But that's a lot of results for us to look through, and when you look through the first few results, a lot of these things are related to Homeland Security, but aren't obviously necessarily related to the concept of amnesty, which often has to do with immigration issues. To make these results more relevant to me, what I can do is go down here on the left and click on More under Subject Terms. This brings up a list of all the subjects that all of the articles and books touch on in the results that I have. And what you notice is that initially they're sorted by the number of times that topic appears. So you do see that a lot of the things here are related to immigration policy, aliens, emigration and immigration, immigration. What can make it easier to find some of these to select from is to change from sorting by number to sorting by A to Z. That gives me an alphabetical list so that if I scroll down to immigration I can add illegal aliens, illegal immigrants, immigrants, immigration, immigration law, and immigration policy by checking on include. I can also, if I'm not interested in this as it relates to Iraq, for example, exclude Iraq. And if I just do that, it'll already reduce my results to things that are useful to me. But I can go through the entire list this way in a way that's very useful. Once I click Continue, it will update my results so that I only have about 2,000 results, most of which are related to amnesty and immigration. Advanced Search It may sound strange to say it, but using OneSearch's advanced search feature is actually pretty simple. If I click on Advanced Search from the library homepage or within OneSearch, I will be taken to the Advanced Search interface. Here I have a lot of search options. The Terms field lets me put in a keyword, like Amnesty. Written Created by lets me see works by any author that I search for. Words in Title lets me search for specific words in the title. And Publication Search, importantly, lets me look for works in a specific journal or magazine. In this case, I'm going to look in the Journal of International Migration. I also have the ability to sort by date, content type, and lots of the other search options that OneSearch gives me. In this case, if I click Search, I'm going to find all of the mentions of Amnesty in specifically the Journal of International Migration. Beyond Campbell's Collection Here we are again with our old search for Homeland Security and Amnesty and our almost 9,000 results. But what if I was doing thesis or dissertation research and wanted to find all kinds of resources, even those that are not in Campbell's Collection? Well, one search can help us find those too. All I have to do is click Add Results Beyond Your Library's Collection, and my search is expanded to find 17,500 results instead of just 9,000. At this point, I may need to do some limiting. Let's say I only want peer-reviewed articles. From 2010 or later, and then I'm going to click Update. I now only have a list of 142 results. The ones that Campbell has will be designated by Full Text Online. The ones that are not available at Campbell will be designated by Citation Online. And if I'm interested in this article, I may need to take more steps. When I click on Citation Online, I'm taken to a page that tries to search our holdings for that journal article. We already knew we weren't going to find it because it was called Citation Online. 
At this point, what I can do is submit a request through Interlibrary Loan. That will bring me to our Interlibrary Loan service, where I will log in with my Web Access username and password. And I can use the citation information here to fill out the form to get the Interlibrary Loan. Those are just a few advanced tips for using OneSearch. Remember, you can always get help from a librarian at any of the places listed here, or check out the rest of our tutorials at this link. Happy searching!